Hey you guys, um, <laughs> so I just didn't talk to you, I just got right to work yet, so far. Words, Rainbow. Today is so windy that I couldn't talk to you outside, so I just started the vlog because he was napping and I needed to take the opportunity to go out and get some gardening done. So we are building our new gardening bed um, tomorrow because I'm trying to take advantage of the weather and the time that I have. I only have so many days where I have Cody available to help me, um, and this is definitely one of those times we need to go haul compost, so I definitely need like manpower for that. So today I'm ripping up the grass. The sod was laid very poorly in our house and it wasn't taken care of after it was laid. So a lot of the roots never got to like lay down. And so there's just this layer of like dead saw, sod root. Um, and underneath though, we have very fertile soil. So what I've been doing this morning, just while he's napping, it has been ripping up the sod so I can put the garden bed down there. Our house is built on what used to be a cornfield. So our topsoil is actually really, really good. Um, so I don't need a whole lot. I can just rip the sod and kind of like till that and then just lay compost and dirt on top of it and grow a garden. So I'm really lucky in that department. We're putting another bed there. I'm so excited. Then we're going to have a few days of really cold weather. So I don't plant here until um, Mother's Day. Most people here don't plant until May long weekend. Um, that's our last like guaranteed frost date kind of. Although I feel like in Southern Alberta, you don't have guaranteed frost dates. Like every year gardening is a risk because we're in zone three. My yard is completely south facing and so I can get away with starting things earlier. Um, I've never had an issue. I always plant Mother's Day. It's my tradition at this point. And um, I've never had an issue of any of losing anything to frost. So there are people though, it's like almost like a superstition. Like people are passionate about their like do not plant until May long weekend. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious on all the like gardening Facebook pages and whatnot here. Um so that's the plan. I'm gonna go try and get as much of that out as I can today. Yeah. I have a couple of hours to work before I have to start making dinner. Um Worst case scenario, Cody can help me, and then we're going to build the garden bed first thing in the morning. He has to go into work for a second, of course. Um, but I figure I can probably build a bed or something, or he can build it, and then we'll go pick up compost. And tomorrow will be a very dirty day. It's super windy today. I'm hoping it's not so windy tomorrow because I don't want to have like the compost blowing around or dirt blowing around. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'm trying to film more because I'm just doing a lot in the garden and outside and there's just a lot going on. So, um, I'm mostly just going to film little bits and po put them up as often as I can. So if we're almost close to daily vlogs, hopefully everybody is fine with that. Um, but I just want to take you guys along the process of gardening and putting in the garden this year because I feel like in previous years, sorry about the background noise, by the way, the fan is going on the seedlings. Um, I don't always st show the ugly parts the beginning of the season. Sometimes things don't green up here until the end of May or even the end of June for some things here. We have a very short and late gardening season and growing season. And so sometimes I wait to share and tell things like look nice and look established and they don't look spacey and whatever and everything's blooming and overflowing with abundance. And that's just not the reality of growing a garden. And I want to make sure that everybody sees that you don't have to be an expert gardener you can just grow stuff um because you should just enjoy your gardening space and just enjoy the time you spend out in the garden and in your wherever whatever area you have to grow um and it looks ugly in the beginning everything looks dead nothing looks like it's coming up um i have cleanup to do because i saved a lot of the cleanup for this year when i was pregnant last fall I was like, hey, this is a spring rainbow problem, a not pregnant rainbow problem. <laughs> um, and so I'm like dealing with, you know, stuff that's still in the ground that I just let die in the ground and that's fine. But the weeks really do tick down. It's only a couple of weeks until I do plant. And so it's really important that we get this compost in before things really start coming up in the garden. Some of my perennial vegetables and things. Um have started coming up and also I have an entire row of garlic I will show you guys which I've never successfully grown garlic yet here I've only had two growing seasons in this house though 
Um, I need to plant it in the fall, but I was just like, I just didn't last year and the year before I didn't really, I thought I could plant it in the spring and get away with it. So this is garlic that I planted last spring that did not come up and did not produce anything or produce spindly little things that died. And then I just left them in the ground, whatever. I was like, I'll pull them up later. And then this spring they're all growing. And so I have garlic growing like mad an entire row um so that is pretty cool i like that that works um so hopefully we get some good garlic bulbs this year but i guess time will tell our issue is that it doesn't stay cold for long enough it goes from freezing cold winter to like a little bit of spring and then blazing hot summer it's a very whiplashy here um, i'm just nursing the baby the kids are just kind of hanging out everybody's getting over their colds and um we're just ripping out some some sod today which is super fun that also used to be our dog poop spot which means gloves are required um everything's cleaned up obviously but we need to move our dog poop zone because they're trained to poop in one spot um and now we have to retrain them to go into a different spot which is probably a little bit confusing for them. I'm just really hopeful that they know that the garden is not supposed to be... They don't... They know that they're not allowed to go in gardens. So I'm hoping once the garden edges are there, they're like, oh, okay, we're not allowed to go there anymore. All right. And so they'll just transition to their new spot really well. But it'll be a couple weeks of, like, going out with them and training them to their new spot. So whatever it'll be worth it because I don't like dog poop all over my grass like he needs to be able to crawl on the grass this summer when he's crawling and um, I want to be able to sit out there with picnic blankets and hang out there with friends and have play dates and just enjoy the garden so gotta deal with a couple weeks of annoying inconvenience to uh, have a summer of enjoyment Okay, you guys, good morning. We are at the Crossfield Highland Mushroom Farm to get compost. So they offer free mushroom compost. We just have to back up into it and load it ourselves. So right now we have the baby with us. We borrowed a truck from work and we are gonna shovel mushrooms. Are you so excited? <laughs> I don't even like gardening. He you loves me. <laughs> He loves me so much. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go do that. Wanna watch us shovel some dirt? Okay, so we have all of our mushroom compost. So um, yeah, this is a continuation of yesterday. I didn't finish the vlog yesterday. I figured we would just combine them into one. Um, this was our plan today to come out to, um, yeah, it's called Highland. Highline mushrooms. Highline mushrooms. If you're local, this is, you can just back up and as long as you load it yourself, you can just take as much free compost as you want. Mm. Super nice. It's really high quality. It grows amazing like organic veggies. It's an organic mushroom farm. It's an organic mushroom farm. Um, so this is what like the mushroom farm looks like over there and these are the compost piles behind us so then there's people just like loading it into bags and buckets and they just take it um, but the real treat about coming out here for compost 
is there is a donut shop in Crossfield that is, I would like to say, probably the best donuts in Alberta. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. I've yet to taste a better donut. Yeah. And it's called the Donut Man. And it's in, is it just Donut Man or the Donut Man? Donut Man? The donut donut man. man. I don't know. Um, and it's in Crossfield, which is this tiny little town. Um, and it's really, really cute. We'll show you. I think I've already shown you before, but like, just amazing donuts. Their maple bacon donuts are like, yep. so good. So, that's what I'm after. That's what we're after. Grayson too, he was like, bring maple bacon home. Yeah, we need like four of those. Yeah, at least. Um, so we're going to treat ourselves to some donuts now before we have to go dig more. That wasn't as much work as I thought it would no, be. No, it was pretty okay. Um, hopefully we got enough. We got as we have, what is this, a long box? So it's an eight foot bed. Yep. Um, and we filled it. Yeah. About like half, filled, filled half filled. height. Yeah. So we got a lot. Um, if we need to come back, we will. I'm hoping to do the new bed we're putting in today. Um, recompost my main bed and then have enough for the front to compost a little bit of the front and my grow bags and everything. So hopefully it's enough. We'll see. Um, we're also going to go get wood and bags of dirt. Which is so silly, like it's so infuriating to me. Cody and I were doing our gar garden budget. I was like, okay, this is what I wanna do, hoping to stick around like this price. The amount it costs for wood and dirt in Canada so is ridiculous. Like, it makes me so mad because it's like, gardening should not cost that much. And even when you're trying to be really creative and um, really cheap with stuff, it's still so expensive to garden and to like just establish set up a like set up a garden I couldn't imagine if you didn't have good topsoil like we do like we don't have to do as much dirt on the top because we have really rich topsoil because like I said yesterday I think um our house is built over top of a cornfield so the topsoil is like pretty good um yeah it's just like ridiculously expensive oh one of my favorite YouTubers who I watch all the time and get most of my gardening inspiration from, so many ideas, Roots and Refuge Farm, if you are aware. Um, she's amazing. She was talking about cow paneling yesterday. Uh -huh. And yeah. she was like, I used to recommend this because it used to be like $20 a roll at full rip. Yeah. And then she was saying that like, you could get it on clearance if it was dented or anything for like $5. Yeah. She like, so she used to recommend it all the time and now her cost has gone up to about $45 a roll. But she was like, some gardeners were saying that in Canada, it's $100 or more a roll. And that's what we were just figuring out because I was gonna do a, an arch and I was like, oh, cow panels, how everybody does this like trellising. And it's $100 a roll yeah, it's for cow panel. Stupid, it's so expensive. So like just doing the arch, I was just going to do an arch over our, at the bottom of our stairs from one garden bed to the other to grow um, butterfly pea, pea flowers over. And that alone was going to cost us almost a hundred dollars. Like to do that the cheapest way we could, which is just insanity to do one arch. Like, so I don't know, we're figuring it out. We're being creative. Um, I just like... By, on principle alone, I am trying to spend as little money as possible because I'm like, it shouldn't cost that much to garden, you know? Yeah. So, we'll see. <laughs> I'll let you guys know. Okay, we're in Crossfield. It's the Donut Man, and it's right here with the curtains. I want to show you guys something that's like hilarious, hilariously stereotypical to a rural Alberta town. Like, so if you are not from Canada, which a lot of you guys are not, that watch my channel Alberta think of Alberta as like the Texas you know like the the yeehaw cowboys farming that's that's Alberta and so rural Alberta has a couple of like starter packs it's big trucks um which like three just drove by we're in one right now the buildings are old and often saloon styled or inspired hi buddy so if you can see, very saloony looking. Hi, hi buddy. I can come help you. And then you have like a grain mill <laughs> right behind us in this dirt parking lot. It's like rural Alberta bingo. It's great. Um, Crossfield's a really cute little town though. I don't 
know much about it because the only ever the only reason we've ever been here is to go to the donut place. So, um, do you want me to come feed you? Okay, let's feed a baby. Rainbow's in the back dealing with baby stuff, so I'm gonna go through the donuts that I picked. Well, let's actually spin this so I can open it up and go through them. Eh, eh, eh. Let's not drop it on the floor. Okay. So, we got four maple bacon. This is just a, um, uh, what is it? Vanilla dip, cookie dough, regular glazed creme brulee, strawberry, unicorn bark, whatever the hell that is, <laughs> lemon poppy seed, which is the donut of the month, which I thought Rainbow might oh, like. And then, um, oh God, what was this one? Oh, I'm blanking. Um, it looks like a... Oh. What is, is that it? a fritter or some sort? No. I'm blanking. It'll come to me. Caramel. Brown yeah. sugar. I can't remember, but it looked good, so I got it. But I don't remember what it's called. What's this one? Huh? Cookie dough. Ooh. That one I'm stoked for, because it's like a... Just like a cutout of cookie dough you on the top. I've eaten so many poppy seeds that like I'd probably test positive for opioids. <laughs> probably. <laughs> You're just lit. Opioids? Opiates? Opioids? 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't. You're lit. I don't do drugs. <laughs> okay, let's have a little update. I'm eating a leftover bowl of spaghetti, drinking some root beer kombucha, taking a little break. We're back home. The house is so messy and there's like, the floors are dirty and it's giving me a little bit of anxiety. So I really hate a messy house, but spring is messy. Zag is just chilling in his past night for a second so I can eat with two hands. Um... I'm tired, like, I woke up feeling like a little bit more congested in the nasal area, like, you you guys know the sickness has hit me really weird, I've kind of been talking about it, um, I was fine for like, and then I got hit with like a, I got hit with it for a day, and then was totally fine, and then this morning I woke up with like, and I sound a little bit sick, it's weird, so I don't really feel sick, I have, I feel like I have a little bit of a cold, clearly my body is fighting it off. So I'm just tired now. Um, we've had a couple of hiccups. Cody had to go into work for like an hour. Um, hopefully he's out of there soon because we're losing the day and it's supposed to snow tomorrow and the next day. So I'm trying to get this done before the last snow. Hopefully the last snow. Because it's not time to plant yet, but I only have so much time to get garden beds built and filled and do all this like manual labor before... Um, it's time to plan. So, like, just with our schedule, I only have so much time to do this kind of stuff. So, just chilling out. I might gonna eat something. Hopefully, bring my energy back up. Oh, well, maybe have a hot tea. Maybe save that for tonight. I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna kind of put around, and then when Cody gets home, we're gonna get to work. We're gonna haul the compost. That was the other thing. Um, the wheelbarrow is not here. <laughs> we thought um, we don't have a wheelbarrow. We always just borrow Cody's dad's. Because we've never needed a wheelbarrow, like, enough to own one. He brought it to their property, and so it's not he We all thought it was here, and it's not. Cody and I are going to have to um, drag the tarp full of compost into the backyard. The issue is there's still a small mound of snow in the front. Kind of blocking our way, so I don't know what we're going to do about that. And then we're going to build the bed, and at least get the dirt in it and everything, and then... <clears throat> the rest I can kind of work on on Saturday and then he can help me with on Sunday. I'm trying to have a better mindset right now because <clears throat> we got a lot done today but I just thought we would get more done and we've just it's been slow at various stages we've had some holdups and some things changed and you know life happens so I'm mostly just trying to not be annoyed while I'm tired <laughs> and obviously fighting off a of sickness. I'm also trying not to push it too hard so that I don't get more sick or anything. But balance, balance. So that's the update. That's the plan. Um, we're going to work on the garden a little bit more. Hopefully get that built and then we'll just chip away at it after a two-day break when it snows and then back to work. Hey guys, good morning. It is the next day. It's actually just afternoon now. Cody went out and built the bed. Uh, we just didn't really get around to filming. We didn't get as much done as we thought we were going to be able to. We ended up running out of time. Cody was at work a lot longer than he thought for that evening appointment. And yeah, it's just, we still got a, t a ton done. I have to stop being like, oh, we didn't get as much done because we got a lot done. And he got my bed built and I got all the grass ripped out and everything like that. So I wanted to show you 
the bed because I want to show you the ugly stages before it all looks beautiful and I want to take you outside and show you everything that's already growing um, and volunteering and coming up from last year. We have our big pile of compost and dirt and we need to still add it to the beds. We haven't done that yet. We're waiting for the snow period to be over of two days and then we'll do it this weekend um, because in like two and a half, three weeks I plant. So I will show you, I want to take you guys aside, but just in case it's windy, cause it's been kind of crappy out. I will, I just want to talk to you guys and let you know what we're doing here. Um, yeah, just in case you can't hear me outside very well. Just a quick little check in on the planty babies. They're a little bit leggy because the light, as you can see, has been kind of like not great. It's dreary, but oh well, it is what it is. They're doing okay. Um, that's one thing that I love about gardening is that even people that are great at gardening can have like a weird year. They can have like crappy starters. Like you never arrive. <laughs> you never arrive. Okay, I just got a phone call and got interrupted and the baby woke up. So I'm just gonna come out here really fast and show you guys. And then we're gonna end this video and I'm gonna start a new vlog today. Um, but let's go down here. Okay, so here is the start of the new bed so there's the big bed and then here's the new medium sized bed it's about nine by seven feet and we're gonna put lots of lovely things in here a little bit more shade loving um we get full sun back here anyway it's south facing facing um i think i might put some like latticing up here and grow something up the deck on both sides this year um I'll explain in, a, in the next vlog like what's going in here why it's going in um and then as you can see everything just looks like poopies but it's gonna look beautiful in just a little bit so I have to replace some of the strawberries but <clears throat> a lot of these strawberries will come back up again I didn't clean up the beds very much at the end of the year I think this is some volunteer chamomile probably <laughs> over here by the herbs and in the strawberries. So we have some thyme that's gonna come back. We have oregano coming back right there. And I don't know if that's oregano and marjoram anymore. No, I think it's just oregano. Um, it could be both, but I'm not sure what we've got. <clears throat> the garlic chives coming back. They always thrive no matter how many frosts we get. They come back really early, usually in like February or March. We start getting, depending on the weather and how warm it is, which is crazy for here. Again, I kind of kept the dead ones from the fall just to kind of give them cover. And then... <laughs> Hello! She caught the baby for me. Um, these are the garlic that is... Oop spill my tea these are the garlics that are coming up that i said um i didn't think worked and i wasn't going to plant garlic this year and then all of the garlics decided to come up and i can't see squishing them with this whoops okay um so that's really cool this must have like grown into a clove last year and then i left them in the ground because they just died and they didn't succeed because it was too hot um and now this is like an entire clove which is hilarious i'm just gonna let it go um and then there is the green onion coming back green onion you don't have to like you plant once and you're good to go and it'll just keep coming back it's almost like it's almost a pain in the butt <laughs> but this is my onion spot usually so I just like planted a little chunk in the middle of, of where my onions failed I had, gun on I, had gun I had onions up here and onions down there and I was like oh whatever I'll just plant some green onions there so I guess we have green onions there now um but yeah I plan to maybe do another latticing thing up here and grow something all the way up the deck. Probably my butterfly pea flowers, which I'm super excited to do. So we have a bunch of stuff in the front that we have to, like all the compost and all the dirt to bring in and start putting in the beds. We have to disturb the topsoil before we put more dirt in, but hold on, open the door. Hi, Betty. Um, yeah, there's a lot, it's, it's progress and it's amazing. So hopefully by the end of the weekend, the back portion will be done. We have to recompost the main bed just to put nutrients back in the soil. Hi, buddy. And then 
And then we'll do the front as well as redoing like the tree well and getting all those medicinal herbs in there. So it's gonna look like a beautiful cottage garden <laughs> this year. And I'm so excited to bring you guys along. So, okay, that's all I have for you. I'm gonna stop talking because this vlog is so long um, and many days, but I'm gonna start filming a new one right now. So we'll see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.